In this video, I'm going to show you how to find books on your topic. So books are some of the best resources for conducting research in art history, in really any history topic. So today, for the example I'm going to show you, I'm researching the Byzantine icon and the significance of the period of iconoclasm. And based on the background research I've already done, reading my textbook and looking at the encyclopedia Grove Art Online, I now understand that icons are religious art and the iconoclasm was a period of time when that kind of art was destroyed. And so now I, I want to know more about um, Byzantine life. What was life like when they were using those icons? How were those icons used? What was the religion like? Because I think that's going to help me understand the images or the imagery of those icons and maybe why they were destroyed, right? So I want to learn more about the religion and life during that time. That's what's interesting to me. So to do that, I'm going to look for some books. And if you see, I'm on the research guide for your class. I'm going to click the Find Books link. And if I scroll down, I'll see the resources we've provided for looking for books. The first one is the Cerritos College Library Catalog. I can conduct a search for a topic the same way I did in any other um, resource we've been using, just a simple keyword search, so even just Byzantium, right, to get started. And you can see there's a lot of results, but right now, because we're all stuck at home, I have to limit by what's available online. So now you can see I'm down to 18. There is a book that looks really interesting to me, Daily Life in the Byzantine Empire, because I'm interested in life during that time. And to get to the full text, I would just click this link right here. But as I continue to scroll down, I'm not seeing that many other books that I think are going to help me. And there are some movies, but I need more. I, I, I need more. So if I go back to the tab, you'll see that I've also given you guys a link to the Internet Archive. So the Internet Archive is an open source website that has um, digitized information. You've got videos, you've got text, you've got images, you've got audio, all, all kinds of things, right? And so I'm gonna start by just doing that same kind of simple search that I did in our library catalog to see what I get. And I get 1,200 results, which is way too much, so I'm gonna narrow it a little bit. I'm gonna see what they have about icons, right? And that's why I put that and. So now I have much fewer results, but they look like they're really about the topic I'm interested in. And while there are images here, which I might use, right now I'm looking for texts still. So I'll limit to texts. And now you can see there's some books that I can look at. There are a couple of kinds of books here in the Internet Archive. One is a book that you would borrow. And this kind of works like the library reserves. You can borrow it for an hour. And to do that, you'll need to create an account with the Internet Archive, and it's pretty easy. But they also have books that you can't check out, but you can view online. And so you would just use um, some controls along the bottom to flip through the pages. And you can make it bigger so you can read what it's saying and things like that. So I hope that this has helped you find um, a way to find some books on your topic. I, I think if you feel frustrated, you can't find the books that you need, an important thing to notice is this little chat link on the right-hand side of the research guide. You can contact me directly, but if you need help right away, just put your name in here and start chatting with the librarian on call. Um, those librarians are working from 7.30 in the morning till 10 at night, Monday through Thursday. 7.30 to 3 on Friday, and 10 to 3 on Saturday. So you can get help right away, and we'll try and get you the resources you need for your class. If you click to the next tab, Find Articles, you'll find a video that shows you how to look for scholarly articles on your topic in some of our databases.